good morning all of you in this session in this session i am going to explain about uh, simple problems on rough inclined plane okay problems on friction okay these two are the example diagrams for inclined planes Before going to the problems, first of all, you have to know the fundamentals about the free body diagrams. Here, capital R. Capital R is the reaction force, normal reaction force. W is the self weight of a block. P is the actionally applied force. F is the frictional force. Okay, F equal to mu R. Mu is the coefficient of friction. Okay. Now, this is a horizontal support, rough horizontal support. Okay, for smooth surfaces, you have to consider zero friction. Okay, for smooth planes, you have to consider zero friction. Okay, for rough surfaces, you have to consider friction. Okay, opposite to the direction of motion of the block. Okay, so here, this is a rough horizontal plane. And I am placing a block, block of weight W on the horizontal plane. Okay. Now you have to draw action and reaction forces. Here W is the action. Okay. Actionally applied for self weight. Here this is the self weight. So already we know that self weight of any body always acts vertically downwards. Okay. Self weight of any body acts vertically downwards. Okay. So, I am drawing this uh, vertical force for self weight. Now, this is the action. Okay. From Newton's third law of motion, already we know that for every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. So, you have to draw opposite reaction force. Okay. Here, capital R is the reaction force. Okay. Here, Reaction force always makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the support. Okay, here the support is uh, horizontal. So, this reaction force makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the support. Okay, so now I am drawing the forces uh, only. So, these two are the free body diagram. Okay, now if you want to move this block in right side direction like this. Now I am applying the pull force P. Okay. Then, then uh, this block will move in uh, right side direction. So the direction of motion of the block is like this. Okay. So here this is the frictional force. Okay. This is the action here you can observe. So P is the actionally applied force that is action from Newton's law. From Newton's third law, you have to you have to draw opposite reaction. So here frictional force is the opposite force. Okay. So here the frictional force is opposing force. When you are applying a actional load, then you have to consider frictional force. Okay. Here F equal to mu r frictional force. Mu is the coefficient of friction between the block and the horizontal plane. Okay. Capital R is the normal reaction force R. Okay. Now, frictional force always acts parallel to the support. Okay. Here the support is horizontal. So you have to consider horizontal friction only. Okay. So the direction of this friction force is always opposite to the direction of motion. Okay. So the direction of motion is right side. So you have to consider left side direction for friction. Okay. Now draw this, uh, these uh, two forces here. This is a frictional force and uh, this is, uh, this is actually applied force. Okay, final, this is the final free body diagram for this uh, condition. Okay, by using uh, these, these uh, free body diagrams, you can calculate the unknown value, mu or W or uh, frictional force F or P, okay. Now, this is a rough inclined plane. This inclined plane makes an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal plane. Okay. Now, I am placing a block of weight W on 
rough inclined plane. Okay. Now you have to draw. Cell, now you have to draw a forces diagram. Already we know that self beta for any block acts always so acts so vertically downwards. So here I am considering a parallel reference line and a normal reference line. Okay. So this is the this uh, reference line is parallel to the inclined plane and this reference line normal or perpendicular to the inclined plane okay now you have to consider this self weight vertically downwards like this okay vertically downwards now you have to draw reaction force opposite reaction force already we know that reaction force capital r always acts perpendicular to the support okay so this is the reaction force. It makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the support. Here the support is inclined. So reaction force makes 90 degrees with respect to the support. This reaction force always lies on this normal line. Okay. Normal to the inclined line. Okay. Now, I am converting this, this self-weight W into, into normal and uh, parallel forces, okay. So W cos alpha lies on uh, this normal axis and W sin alpha lies on this uh, parallel axis, okay. So here W, I converted this W force into W cos alpha, W sin alpha, okay. Now this is the reaction force R, okay. Now, if you are not applying any force on this block, then this block moves downward freely, okay. Here, the direction of block is uh, like this. Okay, when you are not applying any force, then this block will move downward. Okay, so then the direction of motion is like this. Then you have to consider frictional force opposite to the direction of motion. Okay, here the direction of motion is right side direction. So you have to consider opposite direction for a frictional force. Okay, this friction force always acts parallel to the support. Okay, here yeah. now F equal to mu r lies on this uh, inclined plane. So the angle of this inclined plane is alpha. Okay, now you have to consider this uh, frictional force on this parallel axis. Okay, now these four forces are the free body diagram for uh, this, uh, this condition. Okay freely moving body, okay? Here, capital R and uh, W cos alpha, okay, capital R and W cos alpha always lies on vertical, this uh, normal plane, and W sin alpha always lies on this normal, W sin alpha and the F equal mu R lies on this uh, parallel plane, okay? This is the example for a freely falling body. Okay, here there is no external force. Okay, there is no external force. Now coming to the another condition. Here. Okay, same condition I'm taking. Here, yeah, this normal reaction force makes an angle 90 degrees with respect to the inclined plane. Now you have to convert this uh, self weight W into two forces. That is uh, normal to the plane and parallel to the plane. Okay, W cos alpha, W sin alpha are the two forces for this self weight. Now this is the reaction force. Reaction force lies on the normal plane. Okay, 
okay now uh, now i am i am applying a external force p parallel to the inclined plane like this now i am now i am going to move this block in upward direction okay if you want to move this block in upward direction then you have to apply an external force so so i am taking this external force like this this external force parallel to the this inclined plane okay in this condition this applied force parallel to the inclined plane okay then the direction of motion is like this okay so the friction force always acts opposite to the direction of motion so here the direction of motion is upward direction so the friction force is downward direction friction force always parallel to the parallel to the inclined plane okay so now this is the applied force that means uh, the direction of motion is upward the friction force is downward okay now you have to draw these two forces here so f equal to mu r here okay and p on this axis okay so here you can observe there are five forces okay so by using these five forces you can you can find out any value any unknown value okay so this is the final free body diagram for this condition okay in this uh, in this session i am going to explain a simple problem on this condition only okay a body of weight 500 newtons is pulled up an inclined plane by a force of 350 newtons the inclination of the plane is 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal here the angle of inclination of the inclined plane is 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal plane Okay, the force is applied parallel to the plane. Okay, here the force is applied parallel to the inclined plane. That value is 350 newtons. Then determine the coefficient of friction between the block and the inclined plane. Okay, this is the diagram. Okay, here a body of weight 500 newtons pulled up an inclined plane. Okay, by a force of 350 newtons. Okay, the angle of inclination of the plane is 30 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Okay. Sorry, you have to consider this value as alpha. The angle is alpha. Okay. So from the given question, you first of all, you have to identify the given values. So here the self weight is 500 newtons. W equal 500 newtons and the pulling force P equal 350 newtons and the normal reaction force R you have to determine the you have to determine normal reaction R then after you have to determine uh, coefficient of friction mu between the block and the uh, inclined plane this is the friction force F equal to mu R here alpha alpha equal to angle of inclination of the plane with respect to the horizontal that is 30 degrees okay these are the given values okay by using these values you have to determine coefficient of friction mu okay let's consider a free body diagram for this condition okay this is the question sorry this is alpha alpha this one also alpha. Okay. Now, first of all, you have to draw a free body diagram for the given problem. So, let's consider a W, self weight. Okay, already we know that self weight always acts vertically downwards. Okay, W is the self weight. And the normal reaction always acts perpendicular to the support. Okay, reaction force always makes 90 degrees with respect to the inclined plane. Okay. So this is the parallel axis for inclined plane and this is the normal axis for the inclined plane. Okay. Now, 
here now i am converting this w4 w force along the inclined plane and normal to the inclined plane okay w cos alpha is acting along acting on normal plane okay p is the applied force so this uh, when you are applying the pulling force then the direction of motion is upward okay then you have to consider opposite frictional force f equal to mu r okay like this this is the applied force okay the direction of motion of a block is upward so you have to consider downward frictional force okay friction force always acts opposite to the direction of motion okay and also lies on lies on support okay so this is the friction force and this is the applied force and this one is the w sin alpha is the self weight okay here w i converted this w force into w cos alpha and w sin alpha okay so these five forces are very important for uh, determining the value of mu okay now i am considering this uh, this free body diagram for determining the unknown values okay so these are the five forces okay now all do we know that here w equal to 500 newton self weight and p is the pulling force 350 newtons and capital r is the reaction for normal reaction force and coefficient of friction mu we have to determine this value and f is the frictional force f equal to mu r here alpha is the 30 degrees angle of inclination of the inclined plane 30 degrees okay these all are the given values okay for determining the normal reaction force you have to consider sum of all vertical forces okay here these two are the vertical forces w cos alpha and r these two are the normal forces okay so w here you can consider w cos alpha in downward direction so minus w cos alpha capital r in upward direction that is a plus r equal to zero now reaction force r equal to w equal to 500 so 500 cos 30 degrees so reaction force r equal to 433 newtons okay 433 newtons so this is the reaction force after that you have to consider horizontal forces now these are the horizontal forces okay here capital p and f equal to mu r and w sin alpha these three are the horizontal forces okay these forces are acting uh, along the inclined plane okay so for left side direction you have to consider minus minus sign for right side direction you have to consider positive sign okay so w sin alpha is the right side direction so you have to consider plus w sin alpha and uh, this one also frictional force also in right side direction so you have to consider positive sign so plus mu r this one is left side direction so you have to consider minus sign so w sin alpha plus uh, mu r minus w equal to zero okay now you have to substitute uh, w value and capital r value in this equation you can get the value of uh, mu here capital p is uh, 350 newtons r is uh, 433 and w is uh, 500 newtons and alpha is 30 degrees okay substitute all these values in this equation you can get the value of coefficient of friction here mu r mu r is the frictional force mu r equal to 350 minus 500 sin 30 degrees finally frictional force f equal to mu r mu r equal to 100 newtons okay here this is the frictional force frictional force this one f equal to mu r is the frictional force after that you have to determine the value of coefficient of friction mu okay from this equation coefficient of friction mu equal to frictional force by reaction force here the frictional force is 100 divided by reaction force is 433 okay substitute force and reaction force 
So mu equal to 100. Frictional force divided by reaction force 433 equal to 0 0.23. Okay. 0 0.23 is the value of coefficient of friction. Okay. You, here you can observe there is no units. No units for coefficient of friction. Okay. No units for coefficient of friction. Okay. The units for a fraction of force is Newton and the units for a reaction force also Newton. Okay. But the coefficient of friction has no units. Okay. This is very important. And the value of a coefficient of friction always lies between 0 to 1. Okay. Lies between 0 to 1. Okay. It is also very important. Okay, coefficient of friction value always lies between 0 to 1. Okay. And always the value is positive for coefficient of friction. Okay. Okay, this is the example problem. Uh, now, I want to explain again for this uh, diagram. Okay. Here, yeah. capital R, capital R is the reaction force. Okay, W is the self weight. P is the applied force. F is the frictional force. So for determining the frictional force, you have to consider free body diagram. Okay. Here, this is the given rough inclined plane. For rough surfaces, you have to consider frictional force. Okay. And here, this is the given block. The weight of this block is W. Okay. Now, this inclined plane makes an angle alpha alpha with respect to the horizontal here the angle is alpha alpha is the angle of repose okay now you have to draw free body diagram for this condition okay already we know that the self weight of any body always acts vertically downwards okay so i am drawing i am considering two reference axes here these two are the reference axes this is the parallel reference line. This is the normal reference line. Okay. Normal to the inclined plane. This one is parallel to the inclined plane. Okay. These two are the references, reference axis. Okay. Now I am drawing the self weight here. Okay. The self weight always acts vertically downwards. Okay. The angle of inclination with respect to the vertical axis is uh, alpha. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this self weight makes an angle alpha with respect to the vertical. Okay, and this is the normal reaction. Okay, already we know that normal reaction force always acts perpendicular to the inclined plane. Okay, perpendicular to the support. Reaction force always makes an angle ninety degrees with respect to the inclined plane or support okay so now i am drawing these two forces separately okay this is the reference uh, inclined axis this is the reference vertical axis okay now i am drawing these two forces on this uh, these two axes now you have to convert this w self weight force along the parallel axis and normal to the axis okay you have to convert this what this vertical force into two components okay this is the vertical force that is w cos alpha okay so here this angle makes an angle alpha with respect to vertical axis so you have to consider cos alpha for adjacent sides you have to consider cos alpha okay now this is the opposite side so for opposite sides you have to consider sine alpha so here this is the 
W sin alpha. Okay. These two are the components for this vertical force W. Okay. Now you have to consider this reaction force on the normal plane. Okay. Like this. Okay. So here you can observe I converted these two forces into three forces. Okay. Now, the, now here P is the externally applied force. Here I am applying a pulling force. Okay. To pull the block in upward direction. So the direction of motion of the block is like this. Okay. Then you have to consider opposite frictional force, opposing force. Okay, this is the opposing force. This opposing force, friction force always acts opposite to the direction of motion. Okay, here the, the applied force is like this. Then the direction of motion is upward direction. Then the direction of frictional force is downward direction. Okay, F equal to mu r. Now these two are the opposing forces. So you have to consider these two forces here. Friction force on a parallel plane, F equal to mu r, and applied force P on opposite direction. Okay. Here you can observe these five forces are the important components for determining the unknown values. Okay, by using uh, these five forces, you can you can calculate any unknown value in this problem. Okay, so this is the final free body diagram for determining the unknown values. Okay, so here the let's consider this axis as a horizontal x-axis and this one as a vertical y-axis. Okay. So this is the given problem. Okay, here the self weight is 500 newtons and the applied force is 350 newtons. 350 newtons. Then you have to determine coefficient of friction mu between the block and plane. Okay. Now I am considering the free body diagram for this problem. Okay, W. W is the self weight like this. And this is the opposite opposing reaction force. Okay, now you have to convert this uh, vertical load into two components. Okay. Okay, this is the free board diagram for uh, inclined plane problems. Okay, now you have to consider this free body diagram for determining the value of mu. Okay. Okay, here W is the value of self weight 500 newtons, pulling force P equal to 350 newtons, and theta or alpha, alpha equal to 30 degrees. Okay, so for getting the unknown value reaction force, you have to use uh, some of all vertical forces. Here, these two are the vertical forces, capital R and W cos alpha. These two are the vertical forces. Okay, so for upward direction, you have to consider positive sign. For downward direction, you have to consider negative sign. So plus R minus W cos alpha equal zero. So from this equation, you can get the value of uh, reaction force R equal to 433 newtons. Okay. For determining the value of uh, mu, you have to consider horizontal forces. Sum of all horizontal forces, Fx equal zero. Here, these three are the horizontal forces. W sin alpha, mu r, and p. These three are the horizontal forces. So for right side direction, you have to consider positive sign. For left side direction, you have to consider negative sign. So plus w sin alpha plus mu r minus p equal to zero. Okay. Mu r equal to p minus w sin alpha equal to mu r equal to 100 newtons. Okay, this is the frictional force. From this equation, you have to find out the value of mu. Mu equal to frictional force divided by reaction force. Okay. Here yeah, the value of frictional force is 100 and the value of reaction force is 433. So finally, the coefficient of friction mu equal to 0 0.23. Okay. So this is the answer for this uh, problem. Okay.
in next class i will explain how to determine pulling required pulling force okay for this problems 